All right, I think we are live. Live, 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 live. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Oh, chat's blowing up all of a sudden. All right, let's see. We got, let's give some shout outs. We got a V Dog out there, Jeff Larson, Gareth Martin, Hibba DeRay. Now I know how to pronounce it right, thanks to uh, her and Mike's uh, awesome interview yesterday. Uh, ML Nikon. What's up, Emily? Chevy hey, Man. Am. Al Ben. Sub Bates, Fog Blog. What's going on, guys? Awesome job yesterday, guys, with yeah. your video after Freshes. That was amazing. I caught some of it on the way home from work. And really good. I want to go. I'm, I have to go back. I want to watch the whole thing on a replay because I missed probably the first 15, 20 minutes of it. Ben's out there. Good day, mate. Josh Rhodes, Jerry Lawrence. Mary Beth's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, today we're going to talk about some one shots. But before that, Mary Beth just alerted me to this article that everyone needs to check out. This is from the Denver Post. So, of course, we're going to start with some advocacy. It says Colorado steps up effort to curb epidemic because ever, that's the most favorite fucking word these days of teen vaping with increased checks on retailers and health advisories. Hickenlooper asks state legislature to raise minimum age to purchase these cigars from 21 to 18, to 21 from 18. Because of course, nobody's going backwards. That's the governor of, you know, Pothead, Colorado. They are taking new steps to curb the use of e-cigarettes by teenagers, signing an executive order that, among other things, directs state regulars to increase checks of retailers to make sure they're not selling devices to underage vapors. I'm totally good with that, you know. Excuse me. But this executive order also proposes the state legislature consider taking further steps to regulate e-cigarettes and vaping devices. Among these recommendations, raising the minimum age from 221 from 18. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that one, but there's going to be worse things like I'm about to tell you. With teenagers, it's, this, is a, this is seed that is getting planted and has the potential to head to lifelong addition, addictions to not just vaping, but the cigarettes. Really? Really? Executive order also recommends legislators to consider banning the sale of flavored tobacco and vaping products in the state. So there you go, flavor ban. Extending the existing excise tax on tobacco products to the devices and requiring all the retailers that the products be licensed, be licensed. The licensing part, okay, you know, I'm okay with that. Flavor ban, no. No, 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 no. Adding additional taxes, no, 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 no. E-cigarettes typically contain nicotine, which is yeah, typically, okay, I'll give them that. And sometimes has flavors like cherry, vanilla, and peppermint. I guess they never tried any of the harsher cherries out there. <laughs> Companies behind the devices have come under scrutiny by health officials for their kid-friendly fav flavors. Come on, assholes. Really? You know, when our, when our kids experiment with vaping, they think they're just using flavored water. No, they don't. So the thing about this is you're talking about a state that made marijuana. Yeah. Recreational. Mm -hmm. like, so something that actually can benefit someone as a, as a health reduction, risk reduction. Um, no. No. So you exactly. would think they would be, I, I, you know, I mean, people have different views and, and we're certainly not an advocacy show, but like, I, I do think the ability to put some, you know, um, guidelines, some structure around the buying and selling of electronic cigarettes is probably not a bad thing. I, I don't necessarily yeah. have an issue with that. I do think that going through vape stores, you know, um, to get setups and to find out what works for you and get good instruction is the way to go. But currently they can't even do that with the FDA regs, you know? So yeah. it, it's incredibly, um, it's sort of like, here's the thing. We don't even have to worry about the federal government because the states are, are eliminating it all, all on their own. They're exactly. Just, they're eliminating it. Yeah, just Gottlieb's job is getting very easy because of governors like you know, Hickenlooper dude who probably Hicken has he probably has a big fat bong going because it's legal, but oh we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna ban vaping and all these flavors, but oh yeah, man, this is fucking awesome, dude. You should try this. <laughs> I was like, come on, come on. 
You know, these people are supposed to be fucking educated that we put in office. Supposed to be. I'm really starting to question that. Yeah, well. (laughs) Anyway. Yeah, that's our. I put the the link in the chat for uh, for this article. Anybody wants to check it out. If you're out that way. Yeah, that's our our rant for the day. (laughs) Exactly. But yeah, one shots. One shots. I think one shots are perfect for someone who's interested in learning how to mix. You know, and they don't want to, you know, they want something they can go ahead. They know it's going to be good because they've already tried that flavor and they've already had that, that e-liquid. Oh, well, they want to mix it up themselves because they can get more for their money. Absolutely. You know, like, you know, the new one from Adore liquid PS passion, you know, 1699, this makes 150 mils as opposed to, you know, 35 bucks for a 120. Yep. Yep. I think the other thing with one shots is um, there's a couple things, right? So one is mixers that have been able to get one shots created. So they're mixers that may have recipes out there. Mm-hmm. So you can mix it. What well, you can try the one shot, decide if you like it or not, and then you can mix it on your own. Like Shindo has done a fair number like that. And we'll take a look at some of his stuff, which I think is exceptional. Oh, I think, yeah. I think, um, if you go to wizard labs and we'll take a look at these, but if you go, there are also mixers that you know that you interact with in the community that have one shots that you can get. So you can support other members of the community and you can try some of their mixes. There's great sample packs that you can get that give you like a little 10 ml one shot, which are great. So you get to try a variety mm-hmm. of different flavors. Um, that was how I, I tried um, Emily's or ML and Icons, a, a bunch of hers and went down to Wizard Labs and picked up some of those there. And they were they're really good. And it's just a nice way to do it. And then of course there are other well-known mixers like Wayne Walker and yeah, that have one shots out. And it's just another way to support those members of the community to get some really good e-juice, 10 bucks, you know, and you can get a 30 ml. And if it's like, you know, depending on the percentage, right? So between 10 and 15%, you can get close to almost 300 mls of e-juice. Yeah, for 10 bucks plus what what you're paying for your nick and your uh, VG, which is new minimum. And I think the way we're moving, I think it's something worth learning, right? Frank, yeah. you know, the way things are going. Liquid Born, I think, has been very smart in how they're kind of moving their framework, you know, beyond the single flavors to really helping someone get a bottle, get a thing, measure it out, pour it in, yeah, shake the, it up. The taste makers, yeah, they're awesome. Yep. Those series, they're they're great. I mean, yeah. you saw did you see Groom Green? He was going on and on about Water Malone, right? Yeah. You know, so so I think I think that's great. I think it's great for the community. I think it's great uh, for people, uh, for their pockets, you know, across yeah. the board. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, because that's what we're coming down to anyway, possibly with, you know, all these regulations yeah. that they may be the only way that vapors can get their can get their e-liquid is yep. they're going to have to mix it themselves. Yep. Agreed. And one, yeah. and one shots is perfect for that because you don't need to have, you know, 300 to 1300 flavors to be able to have something good to be. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Emily said, said the same. They're genius with how they did their basic line. I compre- completely yeah. agree with you. Hi, Andre. Thank you for joining us today. Yes. Welcome, Andre. Welcome, Tony Sandman. I don't think I, I think I saw somebody else. Who did I see out there? Tam. Tam's in there. <laughs> yeah, Tam. Get your ass home. Tell John Drive. <laughs> we got Tam and we got Chevy Booya. Chevy's yeah. in Al- Alfred Pudding. Hello, Alfred. Oh, Alfred just popping. Hey, Alfred. You and Burgundy cereal right here, buddy. I've been killing this shit. It's really good. And I hate cereal vapes, but you guys did a nice job with this one. Yeah. Yeah. The the Fog Vlog, um, he was saying he got his first one shot out last week. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, good for you. Where are you? Um, where Where is it available, guys? Exactly. Yeah. Where, yeah. where, where are you? Uh, is it only in the UK? I'm assuming probably chefs. Oh, there's, yeah, there's yeah, it might be chefs. Yeah, and um, sub vapes. He's got the Mexican fried ice cream from chefs. Is a popular one shot here. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's yeah. You know, Addy did a a mix of that. Okay, it's from a company called BLCK in South Africa. Cool. Oh, cool. Sorry, I just got. I got to clean my uh my, oh, nice, my cool. camera. I'm just like. A, <laughs> 
I'm here. Just doing a little camera cleaning. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. All right. So well, let's take a look at a couple. Who do you want to start with, uh, Frank? You want to start with anybody? No, go ahead. You, know, you, you pick uh, what, what site you want to you want to check out first and you know, where you can get these one shots. Because the other thing we'll do once Tammy gets here. All right. So let's take a look at, um, let's do chefs. Yeah. Let's take a look at Mr. Shindo. Yeah, you can go ahead and yeah, you can pop it up on the share screen when yeah. you're ready. That's what I'm doing here. Cool. Here we go. All right. So this is chefs. They're in the UK. Um, if you look at the top, they have one shot concentrates and they have e-juice makers, which is a group, I believe they carry e-juice makers. They also carry DIY or die. They carry one shot wonders. Profit shots, I think, are just big volume. Um like large amount, like you can mix like a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they're just, they give you a lot of volume for your, for your cost. But um, I've, when I've ordered flavors from chefs, I've also gone and gone through and picked up some one shots, you know, from mixers that I, I know um, or would like to get to know. And so Shindo has all of his. So I've done, I don't, I think you've done these two. I think you've done, I, we've both done can trips. Yes. Um, which is like a um, pear a, honeysuckle yeah. creaminess and that's at 8.8%, right? So yeah. if the, the percent is lower, you're going to get a lot more mixes out of the, the total. Cause usually they're almost all in the 30 ml bottle size. Mm -hmm. So at 8.8%, you're getting, you know, you're getting a nice, a nice bunch of e-juice there. Um, sticky rice I've done too, and that's coming in at 11%. So that's, you're getting close to another 300 mLs. Um, pink is one that I absolutely love. Yeah, so it right is, there, 10, yeah, mix it 10%. So you're getting 300 mLs for seven, uh, seven pound 50. Yep. So that's cheap. Mm -hmm. Even in American dollars, that's cheap. Yep. And another group that I... Um, I would recommend that you check out is vaping home mixers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is three dollars and sixty pounds. I don't know what that converts to. Probably about five or six bucks in U.S. Yeah, I think it's what it is, would yeah. be my assumption. But you're getting a a, a one shot. Now this is seventeen percent, but this is Liam Davies. Many of you know him. Um, he's been on DIY die uh DIY down, down under sorry um with us a couple times and he's he's the fellow that's done extensive review single flavor testing of the uh, babe train he's yep. a great guy he's just wonderful he's so helpful he's just he's a joy he's a pleasure he just helps the community and so i just wanted to support you know him so when i was over there i i picked this up um, and I think he, I think this recipe is even available to mix on your own if you wanted to. So th that's the thing that I really like. I really appreciate that these mixers have also made their recipes publicly available. So, um, Liam does have this one publicly available as well. Like if you look, we had talked a little bit about Shindo. So Shindo has, um, can chips available. Here's the actual recipe. So... It's Flavora cream at 1%, dragon fruit at 1%, honeysuckle TPA at 3%. Oh, love me some honeysuckle. Yeah. A, little, a little FA pear at 3.25%. He's pushing that pear hard. And some TPA pear at 0.6, right? But that's awesome. So now, you know, you try it, you get to see it. It's a great way to learn. It's a great way to kind of see what, what's going on. Um, but while we're in here looking at Shindo stuff, I, I just have to, I just constantly rave about this. I can't help it. Um, this mint chocolate chip. Have you tried it yet, Frank? I have not. Oh my God. It is so good. I have, have to get like almost, have have, to... almost everything on that list. I'd have to yeah, get. Yeah. I think the, the I only know. two things I have is the Devon cream and the AP. <laughs> yeah. well, I, that, those... I, don't, I don't have jungle flavors biscuit. I wonder how uh, in a wear a biscuit would, mac, would match up there. Jungle flavors, I think, is a little bit more buttery, maybe. Um, but but it's good. I mean, it's just so good. And I I, I would just uh, just do it. Just get it. Just make it. It is so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of my favorites. But um, the other one um, is this caramel corn pudding. 
is another one I would strongly recommend. It, I, it, but you have to like corn. You have to like that corn. If you don't like that FA corn, and it's not easy to get either. You know, no. I, think, I think you can only get that at Chess. But it, yeah, it's, I looked at DIY, DIY Vapor Supply and nope, no luck. Right. So, yeah, they, that's it. And it's at 3%. So most people are using this under a percent. Um, and he pushes it up. Wow. He loves to push the envelope on, on certain flavors. He just pushes oh, yeah. it. And so in this case, he decided to push the corn hard. And um, that rum, that spiced rum. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Yeah, everything so else in that recipe I actually have. Yeah. That salted, Flavor West salted caramel is good. Yep. I'm, I'm starting to think the vape trains is just as good. I don't know about better. I think you get a different taste out of each one. Yep. Yep. Because I, um, I mixed one of Tammy's recipes and I didn't have the vape train uh, salted caramel, so I used Flavor West, and it didn't it didn't play, it didn't work out right. But I've used salt, the Flavor West salted caramel and other stuff, and fine. So you know that's just kind of a really cool thing um, to be able to be able to do. I think it, mm -hmm. it's awesome. Um, let me see, was there anything else I wanted to show right now? No, that was about it. Okay. Uh, Mr. Addy Tooney's in the house, and hey. the bills are getting their shit pushed in again. <laughs> I got I got my attitude -y sweatshirt there you on. Go. <laughs> that came in this week. Nice. Um, is that from Swaggy? Mm -hmm. It's from nice. the swag. It's from the how swag. long did it take? How long did it take to get? Well, he had to actually order the shirt, the sweatshirt itself. Oh, okay. You know, and then he put the transfer on it. So, mm -hmm. no, two um, weeks, three weeks. Yeah, it, but it took a little over two weeks, almost three okay. weeks. I picked up some Gizzard Brew to give that. Give yeah, that a try. that's not bad. Give that a, a little whirly whirl. Yeah, I um, see uh, another uh, Philadelphian out there. Vape, Ross, vape, vape, Ross, vape. <laughs> um, the other place is Isig Express. Yes. Um, and then Wizard Labs. Um, and then Wizard Labs. Yep. Those are the places that um, I have tend to go to for, for one shots. Now, have you tried any of Wayne's one shots, Frank? Uh, I haven't Maybe. tried any of them, but I've uh, mm -hmm. taken some of his recipes and mixed them. That he has one shops like the watermelon. Yep. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, get that. I think I'm going to get that Elizabeth's custard dough. It looks like a really nice custard base to work off of. Add a little bit of fruit to it, call it a day. Yeah, exactly. Oh, clean AFs in the house. What's up, Freddie? Scott Miller. What's going on, brother? Um, that's the beauty of one shots too. Like you're going to get a, a solid mix. It's going to be easy and quick. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, now you, but you've tried some of the Pazzo line, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so talk Pazzo line, the, uh, yeah. of course my favorite is going to be the cannoli, but they're all good. They're, none of them suck. I mean, they all work. I got mine when they first came out from wizard Labs. So they came in really crappy bottles where you got to basically use a syringe they're not drippers, yep. but, uh, but the, I mean, all the flavors are good. I'm trying to remember them off the top of my head now, but there was that one was the black currant, uh, gum, uh, like the black currant jelly candy, like the gumdrop. That one was really good. Yeah. That, I think that's been everybody's favorite actually. Yeah. Because um, the cannoli one's nice to use as a cannoli shell and then build around it. Like I have a couple of recipes or on ATF and on ELR that has that has that used that way. Yep. That's like the one thing it worse. It's like the holy grail trying to come up with an authentic cannoli cream that go with that cannoli shell. Yeah, totally. All right. So here is um DIY mixer showcase at uh on Easting Express. And this is the mixer showcase. And so these are you know, people that you know, and this is just another way to try out their recipes and to um, support them, right? Mm -hmm. So Jen Jennifer Jarvis has bake sale. I have not tried that, um, but Pippa has, and I've heard really good things about it. Mm -hmm. um, Lars is the guy that runs and manages ELR, and he's got a mix. Um, I don't know. Benutting cake. It must be a, like a banana pudding cake. Yeah, let's see what that is. I'm kind of curious. Okay. Is there a description? Yeah, uh, go, yeah, go down. I think I saw it. Did I miss it? Uh, yeah, keep going. Okay, no, there's customer reviews that talk about it, but hmm. I didn't see a description. No, I didn't either. Uh, so just like a cake plus banana pudding, a banana yeah. pudding cake makes sense. Interesting. I don't see, but I don't see a description. Do you? That's kind no. of weird. You would think there'd be something there to tell you. 
Oh, read description right now. Oh, I page. guess I guess it says yeah. Type. Well, you know, you got to well, you got to click it right under. I'm yeah, I'm pointing to the screen. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Help, help me out. <laughs> help, help the blind lady out. Uh huh. Is a fruity fried plantation banana? Huh. With a oh, hint of oh plantains, yes. Yeah. yeah, creamy smooth pudding. Pudding. So even though the name sounds a bit misleading, the cake part come becomes more prominent as it steeps. Cool. Sub is asking, in aware of doing one shots? I haven't heard about that. I know in aware has been lying and making screwing up uh, their concentrates, but I haven't well, heard about I don't know about shots. lying, but well, I shouldn't say lying. <laughs> so, so uh, here's another one, right? So, this is eight, like I like the way they did their labels, they're nice and clear. Yeah, see? so here's, here's Emily's blackberry milk. Now, I've tried this and I love blackberry, so this is really up my alley. So, I can personally recommend this if you're into that kind of vape. Here we go at 8.5 percent. So, you're gonna get your money's worth, right? Because yeah, there's a 30 mil bottle, so you're talking yep. 270 mils, 280 mils. Yep, yep, yep. So and it's described as a fresh ripe blackberry with some delicious vanilla milk. And it's if that's exactly what it is, and it's good. I've I've uh, definitely enjoyed that. So there's a couple of other mixers on here. You, you know, zesty people. I'm sure people yeah. know and ID10 and yeah, here's Shindo's Shindo's. got one there. Yeah, he's got it's a sticky girl, right yeah. here. And, and I've also tried this too. I can speak to this. Um, Apexified's um, sweet summer chill. It was really good. That was my summer vape. You know, does it have like a cooling agent in it or? A um, little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't call it cooling. I don't know. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, it sounds very simple, but it's really good. It's just tasty and solid and good. Um, so yeah, there's a little cooling in it, but oh, cool. nothing. Nothing that's obnoxious. No, like, I'm not a, that's the worst thing about yeah. you know, Colada. Someone, yes, nope. yeah, Colada, or they just put too much WS-23. Yep. Like, I made the mistake using the uh, Vape Train Sorbet Base. You know, I, you know, I used that as a cooling agent, and I ran it up too high, and it took away from what I was trying to do. I mean, that was the yep. first time I was using it, so I didn't, I wasn't quite sure. It's also another way to kind of like when you don't like your mix and you're getting off notes, you're like, yeah, we'll throw some culotta or mint in there and see what we get. Yeah, TPA marshmallow, just, you know. <laughs> yeah, mute, we can mute the shit out of it, see if we come up, come up with anything. Yeah. Throw some ethyl maltol, yeah, something like that. Yeah, Joey says yeah. Cupurian, cu cu cupurian, yes. It cupurian, is. yeah. Cupurian, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's one of Wayne's, right? I'm sorry, yeah. That, it that's is. one of Wayne's, yeah. It's his mint chocolate kind of thing. Yes. Joey, yeah. if you like that, you should try Shindo's chocolate chip mint. You will, I think you will like that too. It's really uh, our sub vape says that Inaware is uh, they're producing short fills now. Oh, do they? So the, yeah. what are they doing? They're doing short fills? Yeah, you know, the ones that don't have the nick in them, and then you just got buy the nick packs to stick in them. That's huh. kind of, it's, it's popular in the UK, and that's what you're starting to see happen in Jersey now, too, with the zero nick stuff. So wait, in aware is doing that or, or did they're just in aware? Yeah. Huh? Let's take a look. That's kind of interesting. Now I'm intrigued as mm. intrigued. You want to take a look at wizard labs, Frank, and see what yeah. they have. Yeah. Let's look at wizards. I know, I know Jen Jarvis is over there. And Joey vape 240 mils of Shindo's mint chip. Ooh. Oh, she did. So she's tried it. <laughs> yeah, she loves that shit. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I yeah. see mint in a recipe, it just turns me off. But knowing Shindo, I'll have to try it. Well, it, if you don't like mint, then you know, it, I mean, it's cream to mint, right? So it's yeah. not like it. So there is a difference, right? It's not like that natural peppermint, spearmint. Yeah. You no, know, it's it's a creme de mint, but but yeah, I so enjoy it's, it. So it's more mellow. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy it. Here we go. Here's oh, okay. The They're on Wizard Labs UK. A oh, Wizard Vapes UK. Okay. Cool. We'll let, we'll go there next. I'm curious. I'm kind of yeah. curious what, what that is about. So Ace, this is a one shot. Um, Joker, that's a one shot. So that Pazo line is pretty much one shots that have the capacity of really being able to be vaped by themselves, but you can also kind of use it within a mix. So like one of the ones that I've done that with is Vanilla Rain by, mm -hmm. um, I don't see it, but by Jennifer Jarvis. Uh, Jack, that's what it was, Frank. It was called Jack. Oh no, that's that that's a, oh, that, no, that's the strawberry candy. Uh, yeah. The other one is the black currant uh, 
Gumdrop. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, but um, this is what I was talking about. These packs are awesome. Yes. So you get five of these little, um, let's take a look at this. You get five of these, um, I think these are 10 mLs. Let's see. Yep, they're all 10 yeah. mLs. Yep. So you get so you get basically 50 mLs for you know 13 bucks. Mm -hmm. And depending on the percentage, you know, you can mix up some nice, nice juice and you're supporting the community. So I picked up this pack um because i was really interested in um three of these which was the vanilla rain the flapper pie and the ccd because they were kind of in my wheelhouse from flavors um every time i hear ccd i think about think when of we were kids and when kids we had to go to school had to yeah go to catholic uh yeah. and mine was on a saturday morning most of the time it was terrible <laughs> yep it was totally when watch cartoons don't want me talking about god and shit uh, well said frank well said <laughs> anyway, um, so, and here's a fruit pack, if this is your thing, it's another way to sort of, um, you know, experience a bunch of different things at a pretty reasonable price, and then you get a nice, a nice try, so you've got some of concrete, so you got ID10s, and Chiba Shiba, and so that, and these, this is the E-Juice Makers Club, now mm -hmm. Chef, Chef's has a bunch more of these, um, they carry a whole bunch more, I, I forget how many, but it was a bunch more and so you can check them out there too yeah or but, if you really like them you see there's like a, a whole uh a 30 mil bottle there of just, or a, yeah 30 mil of just a two talls one flapper pie yep totally um and this was really good too i've tried this as well um i had a friend of mine who had it and that's at 10 percent, right so an elegant little ball of fried dough with crisp outside filled with creamy ice cream like who doesn't want that exactly <laughs> and it was good so um, that was the best thing about Chi Chi's before they, you know. Oh they yeah, remember that? They went out yeah. of business. Yeah, well, they went out of business because so they good. killed everybody. It was so good. Um, they had that E. coli outbreak and put them out of business. And now, what was the site that we, he was telling us? Uh, Wizard Vapes okay. UK. Let's take a look at them. Wizard Vapes. Fun off Philly, so, up brother. You got some Has good. It, he's got some good stuff going on lately. His Instagram is just blowing the hell up. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, anyone else in the chat uh, buy one shops from different places that we haven't talked about? Oh, how did it bring me here? Amazon. I don't want Amazon. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe they're going through Amazon over here. Yeah, they are. That's exactly what they were doing. All right. Let's see what, let's see what we got here. Uh, nom noms. Uh, oh Amazon. yeah, that's true. That's where, um, who goes there? Um, Tammy always buys from Nom Noms when they have a sale. They had like a recently they had like a 30% off. Okay, so cool. So this is Wizard Vapes. They okay, they got the on. silver line. Flavor concentrates, vampire vape, vaping tools. Let's see where oh check out maybe DIY mixing. Drop that down. Let's see. Mix shots, no. Pre-mixed e liquid base, maybe that no. Oh Nick no, yeah, not Nick shots. Well, what are Nick shots? What are those? Are they the little Nick shots? Uh, yeah, uh, I think so. They're yep. literally the little no, Nick shots. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, mixing liquids, pre-mixed e-liquid base. Let's see what that is. Oh, so it's no, just... That's, okay, it's just, yeah. It's just your base. All yeah. right. Flavor concentrates in yeah, aware. Exactly. Yeah, see, see, yeah. And there's shot concentrates and whatever that's... Wizard vapes have flavors... Let's see what anywhere it has. So this is just their basic flavor line. Yeah. They have, unless they've smattered them in there. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was there. They don't have a whole lot there. Yes, yeah. they, don't, they don't carry a few of them. Uh, Philly got, yes, we cheesecakes, the pole and vanilla. Oh, pudding. here it um, is. You're all set. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Innerware on... short fill. So oh, it's yeah. basically their e-liquid line. So Innerware is e-liquid line. That's mm, basically okay. what this is. But they probably send you the, um, I'm assuming that you also get the Nick shot with it probably, right? Let's see, it's 40 mLs of pre-mixed e-liquid. Damn, that's expensive. It's 40 mLs in a 60 ml bottle. 
Right. Oh, and then you can put and then hit your yeah. You can hit next strength, and it'll. So that's not bad. I mean, you're oh, getting oh, ten ninety nine. Okay, I thought I saw yeah, something than that. yeah. Okay. So that's probably I don't know about equivalent to our fifteen or sixteen, but you know. Yeah, somewhere around there. Bucks. That's a comparable to what we get in the states. Yeah. Yeah, sixty ml. Let's see, sixty ml, three milligram Nick. Add one ten ten ml Wizard Vapes Base Booster plus one ten ml eighteen milligram shot. What? The hell? <laughs> yeah, look, but Fog Blog just said, in, in where e liquid, how consistent will it be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, Socrates in the house. What's up, Mimi? Yeah. I think um, the other thing, too, is DIY Vapor Supply has, um, or Vapor Shack has something, has flavors like. Um, Lucky shot, which, mm -hmm. is like a, which is like an all-in-one kind of like so vanilla rain, lucky shot. Mm -hmm. This is another one, mom and pop caterpillar. These are sort of one shots, but they can also be used in recipes. So you you put them in like around five or six percent, and you add some cream, and you add a couple of other things, and you can tweak it a little bit. Liquid Barn has a couple of flavors that are like that too. Um, Wonder flavor is their peach pie. Um, their butter pecan pie. They're, they're sort of complex flavors. You can kind of almost use it as a one shot by itself, or you can kind of build a recipe around it. Like um, Liquid Barn pumpkin pie. Um, I was talking to Shindo, we were on Fresh's show yesterday, and he was like, yeah. yeah, you bump that way up. I'm like, bump it up. Are you sure I want to do that? Because it's spice. So yeah. you, you bump it up, and, and you can add some cream to it, just a little Liquid Barn vanilla ice cream and a little French vanilla because I, I happen to like that, the Hankston French vanilla ice cream. And it's a great vape. I mean, a great vape. It's simple, you know, so it just makes life, you know, easy. You yeah. can get you can get some really good flavors simply, which is it's nice. You know, you, it just makes mixing much more approachable for people, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know about you, but when I started mixing – I was scared shitless. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was afraid I was going to mess something up. Yep. I was going to give myself nick poison because I didn't know what the yep. hell I was doing. So yep. I was extreme and I didn't want to waste anything. So at first I was really gun shy about getting creative with flavors. I was too. I mixed, I, I probably spent six months to eight months mixing recipes mixing yeah, that's exactly recipes, that's what i was doing too other people's recipes learning flavors mixing other people's recipes buying one shots understanding how they were developing a recipe and you know but today you can you're you can learn so quick there's there's so many shows there's mm -hmm. so people are so accessible you know so your learning curve is just exponential oh you know? yeah i mean a year and a half ago when i first started mixing it wasn't yeah, I mean, if I really probably wanted to, I might be able to you know, reach out to like Fresh or somebody, but didn't want to bother them or, you know, Ratty Tooney or somebody like that. But I mean, it was mostly just, you know, watching the shows on Monday nights and, you know, watching Noted and, you know, you know watch whatever, uh, you know, Wayne did with the DIY or Die crew and stuff like that. But it really wasn't, you know, and I didn't know what to ask in chat. And I didn't want to sound dumb. Yeah, me so too. I was, yeah, I was intimidated. Yep. Completely. I'm, totally. Yep. Completely. I was the same way too, Frank. So I'm, I'm very appreciative of, um, of, you know, these communities now that, that are really, that make it so much more approachable and, and easier. And I, I really, I really, yeah. And the explosion of Facebook groups and, you know, there's all kinds of mixing Facebook groups out there now that at first I didn't know anything about when I first started vaping, I didn't even know about the YouTube side of it or, you know, Facebook groups or any of that, you know, I think I started with that one website, um, it's a popular website, what the hell is it called? Vaping Underground? Yep. I think yep. that's where, you know, I was, I was over there in the chat room, you know, where the uh, message boards. Yep. And that's where I got started. And you know, ELR, and yep. And Reddit and mm -hmm. ELR and all those other page, those, those other sites too. So I'm thinking we probably should take a look at some of these flavors. What do you think from Let's 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 throw the website. Let's do that. So we were um, go ahead. Actually, Frank, you might want to tell okay. them about what we got. 
All right, we were approached by Island Vapes to take a look at their one shots because they have this, they have a new one shot. Well, it's all their classic flavors that they had before, but now they're all 30 mil one shots. So I have, I, I mixed two of them up to review and I haven't tasted them. I have a fresh build right here, fresh cotton. And there's actually Island Vapes coils in there, Island coils. These are a 0.12 ohms. Use Clapton's 316 stainless 26 by 38. So if you kind of see, you might, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's our coils. You can get a set for five bucks. And they have all different, you know, what they ohm out at and different kinds. Yeah, so, you, yeah you can go yep. like that. 0 0.09, 0 0.12, 0 0.20, 0 .0, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and these are basically fused Claptons, and depending on the resistance, it's going to depend on the gauge that's going to be used. But they look like they're all 316 L. They're all stainless steel. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, there you go. With the higher this, resistance, you're going to get the cancel, yeah, get the cancel in it. Um, oh, he's got some nichromes. At oh, two cool. Points. Oh, cool. And he's got yeah. some KA nichrome, and he's got some 316, which is what is going to, of course, be a low resistance being stainless steel. So it's mm -hmm. kind of cool. That's a great price, man. Five bucks? Yeah, for a set of coils. I mean, why that's, not? that's really good. Yeah, that's kind of like when, you know, when you're you're placing your order and you're, you're in the checkout line and you see it on the end yeah. cap. And you're just, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll throw them in the cart too. Yeah, why not? Exactly. Yep, that's exactly what I do. Oh, I'm horrible. All right, so the flavors they sent us. Um, um, he sent us all of them. Um, yep. So I have, I received the pineapple. I mixed up the pineapple down under and the Nana's lemon cake and the sea grape and the pink flamingo, which is down the bottom. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mixed the Sara Lee, but I didn't bring that up, up with me because what well, you know once tammy gets there i think she's doing a sarah lee and she's doing one of the other ones um but shipping was pretty quick like as soon as we kind of knew we were going to get it it was here like in a couple days yeah so, which is very cool um you want me to leave this up or you know what? i'll just take it down there yeah take it down there for now uh but <clears throat> so i think I'm gonna I'm gonna start with sea grape. What do you think, Frank? Uh, or do you want to well, wait? I got sea grape here, so uh, okay. I'll do, do something uh, else. Yeah, do one okay. of the other two. Uh, okay. You're gonna do what? Pink flamingo and yep. the. Uh, I'll do pink flamingo. Yeah, do that one. Um. So these, these coils. Did you bring a bottle up with you to show them? Yes. Uh, okay. Good. Yeah. Like here's the sea grape. See how it's one shot concentrates, islandvapesdistribution.com. I did, since it's, they're, they're not selling anything with tobacco, I did put them you know, with nicotine, so I did put them in the description. It should not violate terms of service. With the packaging, I mean, it's nice, clean packaging, but you need a magnifying glass to read the instructions. It's very small. I mean, I probably really have to try to blow it up. You see right there? Add the contents of this bottle to 180 mLs, uh, regular or premixed VG, blend well, steep and enjoy. I can actually read it better on my computer <laughs> screen than I can just looking at it. We're old, Frank. We're old. Don't yeah. We well, are. I'm old. I, I can't say that for you. I'm me. old too. You're Come a on. Pup. You're just a pup. I'm an old. Mm -hmm. I'm, an I'm old. not a cub. <laughs> I was I was cougar bait at one time, but not. Anymore. No. <laughs> Anyway, um, I watch. Yeah. I'm going to get Joey excited. <laughs> so, um, um, we did, we did, um, ask Brent to send us the percentages so that you can mix up the amount that you want. But for someone starting out, that's like, I don't know how much do I have to, you know, you get your pre neck base, you know, and you just want to be able to dump it into something and mix it up and shake it and go. So for, for that person, that's really sort of nice. Um, but for people that are mixing and used to using, you know, e-liquid calculators and may not want to mix it all up, putting the percentages somewhere either on the site or on the bottle would be kind of helpful, I think, you know, but Brent yeah. was nice enough to, to give that us that information. 
Yeah, um, because you may not want to mix 200 something mils. Of right. it. You're not quite sure if you're going to like it or not. So you want to mix a 30 mil test or a 60 mil test or you, you should know the percentages. Right. So Pink Flamingo is described as a delicate blend of three strawberries, sweet cream and vanilla perfectly swirled together to give you a strawberry milk that will transport you back to your childhood. Now, I love the name. I, I just loved Pink Flamingo. I love that name. And this was mixed at 16%. Now, Frank, you did the sea grape, right? Yes. And that's described as a sweet yet tangy grape pixie stick. And um, I don't know what percent. I think that's at 15% or what? Hang on, it's, I got it. Here. Yeah, somewhere between 14 16. and 16. Yeah, I yep, think it's 16%. 15. Yep. Most of them were in that ballpark between 14 and 16%. Yeah, I think there's only one that's like 10%. And yeah. I think that was the Sara Lee, maybe. Mm. Let me try to turn, that, turn that down a little bit. All right. Pink Flamingo. Let's see what we got. Oh, of course my battery's dead. Well, you know, why wouldn't my battery not be dead? <laughs> <laughs> well, here, while you're doing up, I'll, I'll go ahead and yeah. I have a... Uh, I just took my first rip off of the uh, Nana's lemon pie, which is described as a creamy lemon pie with fluffy meringue over graham cracker crust, just like grandma used to make. Well, my grandmother was Italian, so she didn't make that. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat, even before I vaped, you know, any of it, you could smell, you know, cap lemon meringue pie. And when you start vaping it, the surprise, I mean, this one's only been steeping for like two days. And, you know, I didn't, this one had, I know this one's going to get richer and creamier with the longer steep, but I kind of didn't mix this one right away and I, now I'm regretting it, but it's still, it's really good. What you have, let me shrink it. Right? Okay. What I'm getting is, you know, the lemon meringue pie is nice and subtle. At first I thought it was going to be really in your face and it's not. And you're getting, you're getting the creaminess from the meringue. I don't get the graham cracker which is in my case is, is a good thing because I'm not a huge fan of the graham cracker to begin with, but it's, I mean, you get, I mean, you get everything it's saying. Is it creamy? What's the body like on it? Yeah, right? What are you testing on? What are you I'm using? I'm using the uh, Goon 1.5. I have Brent's coils in there and I'm running this. It's a 0.1. 0.13, it was close, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 91 watts. A oh, warm, yeah. Dual, dual, yeah, dual coil setup, and I got the airflow turned down a little bit because the Goon 1.5 just has way too much airflow, and you actually want to taste it. Because I was going to use the Nano, but then I turned around, and Beth took it to work with her, so I was like, okay. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, so this one, yeah, I'm getting a creamy mouthfeel. And the lemon is very subtle. Now the lemon may come up a little bit once uh, once it steeps out more, but I don't see the lemon being overly intrusive. Like that's all. Like it's not going to get pledgy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so why thank you, Alfred Pudding? <laughs> I don't know why you're saying that, but but thank you. <laughs> it's my hat, isn't it? I know. And the fact that I got my Addy Tooney shirt on, that's why. That's right. <laughs> um, so I've got the pink, pink flamingo. I just read the description before. Um, I am running that on a recurve, and I've got a 0.16 uh, coil in here. It is a nichrome alien coil. And I've got it at 63 watts. So actually, I'm going to start it a little lower. Um, sometimes fruits will be different, right? We know that different temperatures bring out different flavors. So I'm, I'm going to start this at 40 and then I'll go up to 60 and see what I get. Okay. So I definitely get some, um, very pleasant, sweet, ripe, like juicy, ripe strawberry. I'm not getting a whole lot of cream at 40. Um, and we'll go up to 60. But that strawberry is really nice. Nice combination of strawberry. All right, so I'm going to pop a little more in here and go to go to 60 and see what we get. Yeah, there we go. 
Watch my fire alarm go off any minute. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, chat. If my fire alarm goes off, oh my god, I have the worst fire sensor thing. And like, if I had a real fire, it probably would never go off. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. So <clears throat> then, as you go up, you get much more of the body, much more of the creaminess. So you get. <laughs> Kids are having a good time. <laughs> um, my door just has big freaking mouth. So yeah, so basically I got nice sweet strawberry up front that kind of goes into almost like a vanilla cream on the back end. And that's sort of what I'm getting. Nice medium mouthfeel, really nice full, definitely enjoyable. If you, if you enjoy, if you enjoy like a strawberry cream, strawberry milk kind of combo, this is, this is very nice. Kind of um, like God's milk from uh, Skittles. Yes. Very much like God's milk, actually. Um, yes, very much. Yep, totally. What you got next, Frank? All right, I got the sea grape. If Tammy don't show up, I'm going to be downstairs grab the other ones and throw them in here. I... <laughs> you mixed them, right? Did you mix them? Okay. The only one I didn't mix was the um, pineapple. Okay, and I've got right. that one. You right, just this, did the lemon pie, right? Okay. Yeah, I did the lemon, I did the Sara Lee, and I did the pink flamingo. Okay. I have five out of six mixed up. Let's see. Did like, I, yeah, this is the secret. I, got, I turned it down just to see what I get. And I think this it just needs more power because of this RDA, because it's just nothing at lower wattage. But I, I just think it's the build. Yeah, you, yeah, you need to, and the airflow, you need to rock it up. Yep, totally. I'm going to do the sea grape with you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious to see what you get out of it because I, when I first read the description, I'm like, Oh, this is going to suck. I mean, I knew, I mean, not, not that it, would, not that it was going to be a bad juice, but for me, I don't particularly care for candy dates. Oh, I and I'm candy. just thinking, I'm just thinking, Oh, this is going to destroy the coils. It's going to be, you know, this is going to be, this is going to be a bad time, but it's not, I mean, off the, even off the smell, it was like, all right, this ain't bad. <coughs> in here. So there's a there's a commercial e juice that I absolutely love. It's it's by uh, Lost Vape. It's called Slater Pop, and it's a a white a white grape um, pop. And um, I absolutely love it. It was one of the first commercial juices I would like vape all the time. And this sort of reminds me of that. It's a very kind of um, Smarties, like a grape Smarties almost. Mm -hmm. And that's because um, that's the way Beth had described it, just smelling the mix or smelling the, even smelling the concentrate. She, she said like yep. great Marty's. Like, yep. That's what I get out of it. Like a hundred percent. I think probably if I was going to use this in a, um, a tank or a, a sub ohm, I might be tempted to bump up the percentage a little bit because the flavor is really pleasant and great on an RDA, but I don't know if it would get lost. In a, in a yeah, tank. It's, it's a little bit more mellow than I expected it to be. Yeah, right. Me too. I mean, the great. I, th I thought the grape and especially like the sweet notes were going to be like really hit me in the face. Like I just ate some Smarties candy and it's not doing that at all. I mean, I turned it all the way up to 100 watts and you know, it hasn't steeped. I just mixed it yesterday, but I figured a candy vape, you probably wouldn't have to worry about steeping it because there shouldn't be no. too much creams or anything no. in it. No, right. No, no. I mean, it's very good. It's really yeah. nice in the RDA. It's it's grape. Like you get a nice grape smarty candy, um, which is pretty pretty enjoyable. Um, but I do think if you put it in an RTA or or a tank, it might get a bit lost yeah, or watered yeah, you down. You may want to turn it up a little bit because it's what sixteen percent. You may want to go twenty. I w I would try. That's for sure. You know. I oh, mean, yeah. if, I'd mix it at the regular percentage. Do a small batch. See what you yeah. get. And then decide if you want to bump it up. But yeah, I, I could actually really enjoy this because it's not sickingly sweet. It's no, not, it's not. It's not going to fatigue your um, your taste. You know, you're not going to get fatigue. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'd be tempted to add like a little cooling almost. Like I, if, if, it, if, you know, and give it a try because I would enjoy a little back end cooling mint on this. I know no, it's not your thing, but. I don't know, maybe I add a little bit. Oh. Emily wants this. She's saying she wants the pumpkin. Sorry, Emily. There it is. Sorry, sorry, Emily. No, yeah, I, can, sorry. I have the one twenty downstairs. 
Um, yeah, so that's good. I, 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 okay, so it's two for two. Yeah. Two for, for me. And <coughs> Here, you, um, do, you do another one. I'm going to run downstairs. I'm going to grab okay. another two bottles. I'm here. I think I've got the, you did the lemon pie. I'm going to do lemon pie. Okay, cool. Because I didn't, right um, I didn't get to taste that. I have mixed it up. But uh, what's going on in the chat there? Oh my God, I'm by myself. What can I do? <laughs> Come on, guys. Send me some. Sorry, Emily. Nope. <laughs> All right. So I'm doing the lemon meringue. Um, I mixed this up three days ago. It goes at 14%. Um, and um, I think this probably for me would need to steep probably for a, a little bit longer. But after three days, what I'm getting on this is a pleasant, creamy lemon. Definitely get the graham cracker on the back end for me. Yeah, Scott, you do have to try that hazy custard. Actually, the hybrid reserve custard is my favorite, to be honest. So, oh, I love um, hazy custard. I have uh, 150 mils, I think, of that downstairs steeping in mason jar. Mason jar steeping. The old Hell one. yeah, I got that steeping. I have consequence steeping. So uh, nice, a nice mouthfeel, full mouthfeel. I actually really enjoy graham cracker, so I like that I can taste that because sometimes I find in these lemon meringue kind of mixes, they tell you it's a pie and I get no graham cracker or pie. But at least um, in this situation, you are definitely- you are, you are picking up the crust? Yeah. Oh yeah, I get it at the back end most certainly. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Um, Let me uh, vape out this uh, pie or grape and then I'll go with the, I got the Seraline and Nilla Hayes because you yeah. already did Flamingo. So, so flamingo, I, agree with I may actually like that and throw that in a tank. That just mm -hmm. sounds like going to be in my wheelhouse. I think so too. So for me, the lemon meringue, lemon, very pleasant, not over the top, but not, if you're looking for your in the face lemon, th this is not that. This is a lemon kind of cream, nice, soft, rounded, not a lot of throat hit. Um, with some graham cracker on the back end. So for me, this is how I would like it. I, I definitely enjoy that. But if you're looking for a punch you in the face lemon, then this isn't going to be it. Or something that you want to run in a mouth to lung um, at, a, at a lower wattage, which has more citrus. I don't know that this is going to be that prominent for you. Um, but in an RDA, really good. I really uh, enjoy that. Really good job, Brent. Good job on that. All right, what do you got now, bro? All right, this is the Sierra Lee. Well, what, what is the description on the Sierra Lee? Well, I'm okay, I think it was a lemon pound cake, but let me take a look here. Yeah, I think it is something like that. Oh, no, um, yeah, a butter, a light, buttery lemon zest pound cake. Simplicity <laughs> at its finest. Hey, man, we grew up on these. I don't know about you. This is an oh, yeah. This and Entenmann's, like, you know. Oh, heck yeah. I was in grocery store earlier today. And look, I was staring staring down some Entenmann's. I'm like, all right, I'm hungry. That's why I'm looking at this right now. No, I'm not going to buy it. And I'm glad they did. I didn't realize it. I guess it, it happened a year ago. They finally changed the law here where you can buy beer before noon on Sunday. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, 10 a.m. Yeah, blue laws? Yeah, partial blue laws. All right, let's try this. We have to trip this a little bit more. I know it's pretty wet. I'm gonna make sure we'll try and make sure that uh, grape doesn't bleed through too bad. Yeah. Okay. So the only one I have left, I think, did I do them all? Yeah. Is the pineapple upside down? Do you do the vanilla, or you didn't mix that? I didn't. I didn't. Um, I didn't mix the vanilla. No. Okay. I have that one sitting here. I'll do that one next. Okay. I see Leafa in the house. What's going on, Leafa? What's up, Leafa? Yeah, after our show today, uh, Leaf is going live. He's got something going on. So everybody, go check him out. He always has. There's always a good time going on over there, regardless of what he's doing. 
I love I love Leafa's live shows. They are they're great. They're, they're just always great. fun. They're always, they're always interactive. Yeah, Scott, it'll um it'll be fine in a tank. Um, I've done I've done Dark Horse in a tank, and it, if that's what you're talking about, I think you are. Um, I've done it in a tank. I love it in a tank. I love it in the RDA. I love it. It's just one of my personal favorites. That combination, I love it. I have um, some that's been steeping for almost a year. Dark Horse. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not my flavor profile. Uh, I'll send I'll send it your way. Yeah. We'll make a trade. We'll talk. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll talk. Yeah. Talk. As we say in Jersey, we'll talk. <laughs> yeah, with this lemon pound cake, you um, you definitely get, you know, the bakery notes are all there. You know, he's probably, I don't know if he's using, he might be using Flavor of Pound Cake. I mean, you can get it wholesale. I mean, he could be throwing that in there. <laughs> Look at you. I'm <laughs> trying to guess the flavors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, the lemons there, I mean, it's like, it's kind of, it's similar to the, the lemon meringue pie where it's, you know, you can taste the lemon. It's there, but it's not, you know, in your face. It's even more in the back note because it's not supposed to be, it's a pound cake. It's, you know, a little right. bit of lemon in there. So, I mean, it's there. You get any buttery? What's the, is it like a creamy thick or is it dry or is it? It's not dry. So there's, yeah, there's a butter note there. You might be using some uh, moose. Sure, five minutes left, dude. And then you show up. Get the hell yeah. out of here. Get out. <laughs> Get out, moose. Yeah, this one. You know, let me, let me drink. See if I can get a little bit more on there, so it's not bleeding through. The what, you, come, you come on to eat. You come on to eat Twinkies. Is that is that what you're coming on for, moose? <laughs> <laughs> this would be a fine apple, man. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. Of course. You're in New York. It's apple season. You've probably eaten more apples than I have in my lifetime in probably one week. <laughs> no, I've, eaten, I've eaten one, and that will probably be the only one. Yeah, we've, been get, we've been getting them down here at the food line. We get their apples, the New York apples. Same thing with pumpkin pie. Like, I'll have a piece of On it. Thanksgiving Day, and then I won't touch it again the rest and of the year. I'm okay if that never happens again ever in my life. Like I could go on in life without pumpkin pie. Again. All right. So I did the pineapple upside down. All right. You do that while I'm getting this uh, vanilla haze ready. I mixed it at 15%, um, the recommended percentages. Um, yeah. This, uh, we call it the Sierra Lee was 10%. So you're getting 300 mils now of a 30 mil bottle for 16 bucks. And he walks away. <laughs> and he's gone. Sorry, Alfred. I'm not sure what you have. I certainly have. I think I set a record. I'm sorry. Uh, Alfred, what are you talking about? Are you talking about, are you still talking about Dark Horse? Somehow I, lo I lost the train. I lost the trail there. Anyway. Um, so this is described as a pineapple upside down donut. Okay. Just, oh, that's right. Yeah. So he defines it as a donut. So let's see what we get. Um, load it, load it up. Okay. Ray's going to be doing the I Joy showdown yeah yeah he's got that kit. Right, i think cool. that that combo kit maybe yeah the, it's the ai pod and ivpc it says here on the the notification i just got oh alfred said he's been eating a lot of apples yeah man yeah totally um so this is what i'm getting out of this pineapple i get a nice baked sweet pineapple on the inhale on the exhale i get a cake i get a nice sweet cake this is moist i don't get donut now, I, I don't know, um, you know, maybe um, <clears throat> someone else might pick a donut out of this, but I'm not, I don't, not getting a whole lot of donut, but a really pleasant moist bakery on the back end is what I get. Okay, cool. And yours have been steeping, what, about three weeks? Well, from when he sent it, I mix it up. Okay. So what, about two and a half weeks, maybe? Something like I mean, that, yeah. Aside, yeah. aside from the, like, glaze and confectionery sugar and stuff, 
a cake stone that doesn't really have much going on as far as like flavor. Yeah. Like spice right. donuts do because of the spice, but if he's going for a cake donut, I can I can imagine that getting like pineapple and cake because they're yeah. very yeah. like linear, like I don't know, the lin linear flavors like marshmallow and vanilla. Yep. It's very hard to pick the two apart. Yep, agreed. But that's good though. I kind of like some of those very intricate, light, complex profiles that it's <clears throat> like tastes like there's a lot going on in there, but it's just really light tasting. This is good. The <clears throat> pineapple, the pineapple is definitely like a cooked pineapple, like a baked pineapple. It's not bright, it's not top note, it's not you know, like a fresh, like you know, pineapple. It's like how it should be. Like it's what I would want reading that description mm -hmm. it's not overly sweet the cake is not dry it's really nice on the back end very nice that could easily be an all-day bait <clears throat> if that if that's in your wheelhouse there's a little creaminess in there there's a little <clears throat> I, I don't know if it's a vanilla note but there's definitely like a creamy kind of mouth feel to it. it's really good all right, what you got, Frank? This, this is vanilla is haze it's supposed to be a decadent <clears throat> vanilla hazelnut custard perfect for your dark side Right off the bat, yep, he's using Flavor West uh, hazelnut. That is definitely right there, prominent first pull. The vanilla's there; it's not. Damn moose! Sorry. <laughs> you know, it's not. I mean, it's not like an in-your-face vanilla. I mean, like, the hazelnut is overpowering the vanilla, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, but so it's a it's hazelnut. I love, I love hazy custard. Yeah, I do too. <clears throat> I almost like I'm getting a wafer note though. Like there might be a vanilla wafer in there as well. Hmm. You know, it doesn't it doesn't say in the description. Yeah, it's that's exactly what I'm getting. I'm gonna try to turn it down a little bit. Maybe I could pull some other notes out of it because I had cranked way up. We'll go down like 80, 85 watts. So, so what's going on, Moose? What brings you to our neck of the woods today? <laughs> he just smiles. Look at him. I finally had time to come back, I guess. Yeah. Well, good. It's good. Been, a, been a rough month. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Losing your mom's not a not an easy no. thing. No. no, not at all. Not it's, at all, Moose. Everything else, like it, it's just like worse than Murphy's Law. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'm breaking up, but I might, I probably. Yeah, you sound fine. No, we okay. got you. We got um, you. But it's like, you know, like everything that could possibly go wrong at once in one in an under one month, definitely did. I still have a roof leak that I can't pin down on as to where it's going, but. Uh, like our car died, our cat went missing, oh, like our our landlord's wife went psychotic. Uh, it, the list goes on. It's just been like I get it. The universe unfolds as it should, but there's these times like this where you're just like, "Come on, chill, chill the fuck out for a yeah. second. Yeah, give, me, yeah, give me a break. Sometime. <laughs> let, me catch, let me catch up a little bit." So. Um, and then, of course, going to visit my family and stuff after everything was pretty rough. Uh, driving, I got another car, so that's great. But uh, under the circumstances of the new car, driving back and leaving my family was was pretty rough. So mm. yeah, it's good to be back. Things are starting to turn up a little bit more, and focusing good. on me. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Nothing's ever, you know, too much to handle. It'll always, you know, if you take a step back and, you know, take some deep breaths and take everything one piece at a time. You know, even when the world's trying to throw, you know, 800,000 piles of shit on top of you at once, just start with that first pound and, and work your way up. Yeah, it's the, the way of the Teo, they say, is you, you if you keep putting things aside and stuff, they eventually come toppling over yeah. on you. So I wanted to avoid that, and that's that's kind of I'm sorry to the audience and everything, but that's kind of why I took a break as I 
I didn't want that to show in the in in the show. That this man this manic person that's like trying to juggle everything as well as I juggle. It's it's a lot. <laughs> so say, were you here all summer when I was a fucking train wreck? <laughs> Yeah, 2018 has been a big what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's well, get the last two months over with. Yeah, yeah well, this one. Let's say this one is a 15 percent mix. So you're getting what's that? What's that, like six? A little bit more, six to one. So you're gonna make about 190 mils, I think. I didn't bring that bottle up with me, but anyway, I mean it's, I mean, it's a little dry. But the, I mean, the, you, you probably all oh, the nut. That's got to. That's the. Yeah, it may need to steep time. longer. It's only been eight days. Yeah. Eight yeah. nine days, so it may need to steep a little bit longer than that. But uh, I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, I would. I'll probably vape this out. I didn't nick it up. If anything, I might just leave it for Betson, or or I might nick it up and go ahead and throw it in an RTA and take it to work with me. Yeah. 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 All right, cool. The whole, the whole line's decent. I mean, if, if you ever had their regular liquid, this is the same thing in concentrate form. Yeah. You know, his old right. line, this is the, the same exact line. I yep. don't think he added or took away anything. I didn't have his originals, so I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I've never had any of the stuff. And I think probably of this bunch, I the Pink Flamingo is probably like my favorite just personally in my, like my flavor profile that I enjoyed. And I like the um, pineapple. Okay, um, yeah, I haven't mixed the pineapple yet. So when that recommendation, I probably will. The strawberry, the pink flamingo, it's, I mean, it's, let's face it. Strawberry is yeah. not, it's hard to fuck up strawberry. Oh, I could. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I could, I could do it. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, JFM? What's up, Karen? Yeah, I'm nice. Keep it shine. Joseph. And that could be YouTube you. too, yeah. because what was it this morning i got a notification on uh black cat white faces friday show live now rigs friday i'm like uh this is sunday <laughs> i've been getting it like that lately though I, I i may have to unsub and resub then maybe it'll straighten out my youtube's analytics has been her algorithms been all screwed up All right, well, it's about 10 after. Let's uh, get ready to head on out of here. Oh, Lando. Whoa, what's going on, Lando? I see that name. I, just, I get the urge to start shaking something. Yeah. We don't do that here. <laughs> no, yeah. We're eye contact free unless uh, Fresh shows up. We're a safe zone here. We're a safe zone. <laughs> <laughs> well, Moose, it's nice to have you back, man. Hopefully, yeah. you know. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see more of me. I'll keep trying to pop in when I can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Wizard Labs, I just got a notification. Yeah, they got the uh, the new Capella line, and I think they're selling at a discount this week. Yeah, they, they always have these weird deals on, on Gremlin, I, I noticed. Yeah. Stuff that doesn't sell, I guess. goes like 30 mils for a dollar. Yeah. If you're someone out there that's likes weird things or maybe stuff that's been overlooked, um, just because it doesn't get higher reviews doesn't mean you might not find a use for it. So for a dollar or thirty mil, I mean, yeah, agreed. Agreed. Might be worth a try. Completely uh, agreed. I, I skimmed through. Morning, Peppa. Yeah, I, I skimmed through it a bit, and I was like, no, no, I, I know I don't want any of this. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of stuff that was familiar to me, so. Yeah. The only problem with Wizard Labs is I use a Discover card and they don't take Discover cards. Oh, really? Yeah, I've, yeah. I, I've never used them. I've heard good and bad things, but it's with everyone. I've used them a couple of times and they're okay. Yeah, Pippa, we went back an hour this morning. So that's probably why you're getting us, you know, you're getting us a little later. Because I think you guys went ahead. We went back. Well, you guys didn't do anything, I guess. I guess you guys are the, you're anti. Uh, daylight savings there in queensland but and if you're on moose time you're always late yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right anything yeah, we need to anything we well, need to talk let's, about let's start some, here? one last thing we got in, or here in the u.s we have election day on tuesday be a single issue voter go ahead and find out you know either through 
some of your, uh, you know, through your local organizations, who is, you know, what uh, people that are running for office, which ones are vape friendly, which ones are supporting the vape community and uh, give your vote to them. If there's any propositions on your local ballots that we haven't heard about with Florida, you know, Pro uh, proposition nine or amendment nine. Uh, yeah. If you're in Florida, vote no for that because it's a total bullshit bill. And it's uh, about it. You know, vote, you know, vote your conscience, vote for, uh, you know, vote for vaping. If not, you know, we're going to be in a black, black market state real soon. Mm -hmm. or, don't, or don't at all. But at least just don't vote for some douchebag because we got enough of those. Yeah. Did you, did you want to talk about um, Joey's channel? Oh yeah, and uh, I it's in the description. You know, Hibba Deray, Joey, she has started her channel and she's doing a recipe reviews. And my uh, bananas foster cheesecake was the first review she did, and hmm. she did a fair and honest review. So. <laughs> I think she'll do that with a lot of people. Uh, if you look on her description of her channel, she has her email address. If you're interested in submitting a recipe for her to review, she'll mix it all up. And uh, you know, your recommended steep time, and she'll get a she'll get a review up. She'll get a video up for you. Yeah, another way to get recipes sort of reviewed and looked at is to submit them into competitions. Um, DIY down under. We run one every month. You know, there is a theme. So what you submit has to be within whatever the rules are. But it's a nice yeah. way to get someone to mix it up, try it, and to give you feedback if you want it, right? You know, that's another thing. So check out DIY Down Under Facebook group. Um, they're also on the YouTube channel. There are now lots of things called The Plunge. And they're short little five, you know, around five-minute videos on yeah, different you're doing topics a job with that thank you i've been doing yeah I've, it's been fun I, I and and pip is very gracious about doing the editing for me um but so they come out you know looking really good when are you doing the cranberry cocktail i need to know that before i use it <laughs> i did it pip has just gotta get a hold of Pippa, it get on that <laughs> What's the cranberry to use well no, no they, uh, wonder flavors has a new concentrated cranberry cocktail damn it okay I, mean, I have it set up in a, to use in a mix. When uh, yesterday watching a uh, Pippa show, I was just like, "Oh, well, let me try this. And, you know, this might work." But I haven't mixed it yet, so I don't know. <clears throat> Three weeks it's, time, got it. Okay, it's really good, um, but it's not good for that application. No, so just use. Just go ahead and use flavored cranberry instead. If you want cranberry, if you want cranberry. Like in your face. I'm going to splash, I'm gonna splash a cranberry to go with the coconut rum and, you know, make a, make a Malibu Bay breeze, except I forgot to put You might like, you actually then in that case, you might be okay with the cranberry cocktail. Okay. But I would, I, I would put it up to like around 3%. Yeah, I think I did too. Yeah. I don't like it, but it, yeah, Flavorous Cranberry is pretty much ocean mist in a bottle. Oh, is it? The yeah. cran apple, though, the cran apple, man, is cranberry. Like, it's yeah, cranberry. yeah well, that's pretty much what makes up most of ocean mist is cranberry, and then they add grapes and yeah. whatever the fuck else makes up ocean mist. But Let me yeah, see. I think the basis is always cranberry, or at least they sell a cranberry, and it yeah. tastes like that one. I don't like it though. <laughs> but if it, yeah, if I ever had to use a cranberry, that would be. So that's it for me. Anything you want to tell the folks there, Mr. Moose? Uh, any recipes they came mixed. out with? No, no. I'm cl I am cloning Bluebird I'm on this. And oh. it's like cereal science shit. But for some weird reason, I don't know why. Because of the cereal grain that's in it. But Bluebird, I'm, I'm not convinced. Um, <laughs> I've tried the clones out there. And with all due respect, they did a great job. And they, they are tasty. Uh, but they are, they're just not it. Um, and I'm not convinced. So I'm picking away at things, at stuff that has been overlooked by a lot of people. Um, that was like kind of the hints that were given to me from the creator. And that's really <laughs> all that was given to me. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's been, but it's been fun. I'm, I'm getting close. I'm like getting onto a beaten path here. And it's been fun. Not oh, a new cheesecake, unfortunately. Yeah. No, West End just showed up. But yeah, you missed everything, Rich. But hey, here's a blast uh, from the past. Is this hey, going to be coming West. out on uh, Island Vapes' site soon? Yeah, man. 
Oh, and I want to jump on the cornbread wagon. That I mean, that's probably been long done and whatever, but uh, yeah, I want to be cornbread without a whole lot of sweetener in it. Because I hear the country cloud stuff has a shit ton of sweetener. Yeah, the country clouds does. That's you know, you can't get past that with that. But if you want to mix one, uh, Addy uh, Fresh has a good one. I think no, Addy Tooney. Addie has a good one. Fresh came out with one. It was over a year ago when uh, Wayne was doing his marath- his mixed marathon. Yeah. Addie's, I think Addie says that he's not, still. he's still not like 90, like he's like 90% happy with it. There's still something he's missing in his. Thing. Yeah, the one, the one Fresh put together, it was like on a whim. So he yeah. didn't really do a whole lot of detail to it, but it, it's fine. The one-on-one creme brulee, starts off very mapley and then fades real bad so it disappears after about two weeks i mean completely disappears it's not even there no maple syrup it's a drop emily emily said that she and graham did one well when you're gonna share it emily emily when you're gonna share it emily when you're sharing that because i think i think uh actually (laughs) folk art is on to because he's good at this kind of shit Mm -hmm. yeah Figuring, figuring out those little intricacies in small percentages of flavors, and like he's onto something with oh, the acetyl. Oh, yeah, he had something. Porn star. Yeah. Oh. Huh. And folk art has one too. That's that. It's like a corn custard, something like that. But he's onto something with the acetyl pyrazine and something else, and like Flavor West cheesecake because it tastes like dirty socks. Who is it, who is it out, Emily? Is it out under you? Is or is it out under digital gram drops? We'll have to, I'll have to see so I can find it. Cool, man. Yeah. Uh, West End says, yeah, something good in the works it is going to be coming his way. Cool. And uh, cause I believe it's going to be on the uh, Island it's Bates under, distribution website. Gram. Cool, Emily. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Under, uh, oh, that recipe is under gram. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, in 10 minutes, uh, Leaf of Apes is going live with his. Uh, with the, uh, a dual re- a live review of what's the IPV, the new IPV and stuff like that, pods and another pod guy. system. He's a good guy. Yeah, so That's go check. Guy. <laughs> so get out of here, go over there, give him some love, give him some support. He always does a good job. Always interactive, always fun. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate yes. you spending your time with us. You could be doing a million different things, but instead you choose to sit here and listen to us momos. <laughs> <laughs> listen to us babble for a while. Yeah, we appreciate it. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Yes, thanks Island Vapes for sending these yeah. our way. Go check them out. Uh, description, there's a link in the description. Uh, if you haven't gotten it yet, get over to Adori Liquid. Get your PS Passion while you can because it is a limited edition. If you're into pumpkin spice with a little bit of sweetness, yeah. uh, it's a very complex mix. That's for damn sure. Yep. Different temperatures, you're def- and different applications, you're getting a completely different flavor. Yep. So if you don't like it at one temperature, turn the fucker up and see where you get. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, folks, we're going to get out of here. All right. Don't forget the mix. Uh, the victims up. tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern as well. So oh, yeah. two and a half, a little over two and a half hours away from the from the vixens and tomorrow fresh and loomy fresh from the kitchen go check them out uh and let's see next friday freshest show uh next saturday diy oh no he won't be doing next saturday because they're gonna be in vegas and that's right lucky bastards i'm jealous the showdown the they're gonna okay have a, yeah they're gonna have a shootout in the desert <laughs> yeah everybody's All going right. to vegas next week enjoy yourselves be safe have fun because i know even uh some guys from the UK or Europe are going over there. What's his name? Uh, Todd. Todd's going to be going. His dog's going to be doing his reviews next week. Todd so, here. So they should be better. Todd here. Todd here. <laughs> yeah, so the shed will be right. vacant, so go steal shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right folks, guys. Good, enjoy your afternoon. Get out of here. Go. Thanks, everybody. As always, think less and mix more. Mix more. Yes, right. thank you. I need you on, mixers. <laughs> <laughs> I need you on. <laughs>